Greetings internet, it's Monica and today I am so excited because I am finally getting back into comics and manga. Finally! Basically I took a little bit of a hiatus from the world of comics. Uh, I was really into them for a while and then with like constantly moving it just became very difficult to keep up and honestly I got kind of pissed off <laughs> with some things that were happening on the Marvel side but mostly it was because when you're moving from place to place constantly it's really hard to justify buying comics all the time because they're like they're difficult to transport when you're living life out of a suitcase you know but i was recently hanging out with kristen from over at super space chick and she just like really inspired me to finally pick up some comics and some manga it's been so long so i am so excited to get back into this world honestly for for me manga is the one that like i have been like the most away from for like the longest amount of time. I was much more into it when I was in like middle school, high school, uh, and then sort of like petered off. So I'm kind of like diving back into the world. So I'm going to talk about some of the manga that I recently purchased, but I'd love to hear in the comments down below if you have any recommendations for ones I should pick up. Um, I would love any recommendations. So yeah, the first one that I picked up recently is Sweet Blue Flowers, and this is Story and Art by Takako Shimura, and this is a classic Yuri story from the author of Wandering Sun. It follows two friends who are like really close when they were really young and then they find each other again when they're older in high school and I assume a relationship went on from goes on from there and what drew me to this originally is just because the art style is so just pretty like I love the watercolors and um inside the art style is also like quite nice. Yeah, so. I'm really excited for this. The reviews for it were really positive. Although, whenever I bring this up with, like, people, like, friends who I know who like manga, most of them have not heard of it. So if any of you have read this or heard of this book, please let me know your thoughts, um, because I'm gonna finish it probably sometime soon, and I'm gonna want to discuss it with someone. So, yeah. Then I picked up a manga that Kristen has actually been recommending to me for ages, for I think as long as I've known her, and that is Princess Jellyfish by Akiko Higashimura. And this book is kind of like a manga version of House Bunny is like the best way I could put it. This follows Tsukimi who is obsessed with jellyfish. She is a jellyfish otaku and she lives with other otakus and they're all just like a bunch of nerds who refuse to interact with people who are like stylish or men. And one day Tsukino runs into this very beautiful fashionable woman in her neighborhood and she's very awkward but the woman like sort of pushes herself into being Tsukino's friend and it turns out that the woman is actually a man who is cross-dressing. I'm Asian but I'm not Japanese and I don't really I don't really think it's like a Westerner's place to like comment on the like culture of another culture if that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, I will say that the book itself is really fun. I try again to sort of like pull myself away from like trying to think about like what's problematic and what's not because I'm coming at it from a very western perspective but other than that the book is really fun and cute and quirky and again it's it's very very house bunny but like manga. <laughs> then I picked up Dream and Sun and this is the first volume and I picked this one up because Kristen pointed it out when we were at the Strand and said she really liked it and then I know Emma from our Miss Emma Reads a lot loves this one a lot and so I was like okay I'll give it a try and so I tried it and then immediately bought the next three because I love it. This follows Shimana and she is just very frustrated with her home life and doesn't feel like she fits in and so she runs away from home and ends up living with these three boys who are just so funny and I love them so much like I just love the interactions it's totally over the top sorry if things just moved around a bit my camera died anyways as I was saying the logic of a teen girl being allowed to like just do what she does in this book is like a little outlandish but like you just kind of have to suspend disbelief you know I I'm in love with this series. It's so cute. It looks so good on a shelf. Because a lot of the manga and comics that I choose to read, I actually get from the library. Uh, especially like after I get the first one. Usually I just sort of like to collect the first volume and then I'll read the rest from the library. But I just 
I just loved these. I thought they were so cute. So yeah, I am loving the series. Probably going to end up picking up the rest by the end of the month and cannot recommend them enough. They're so adorable. As you could tell, I really love like slice of life, cute, quirky sort of manga. Then I finally picked up Orange and this is actually by the same person who created Dream and Sun and I have been wanting to pick this up for so long and I just hadn't. This is about Naho who's beginning 11th grade and she ends up getting this mysterious letter that starts predicting things in her life. It's a letter from herself from the future and at first she's like this is fake and then it starts being very accurate and she's like I guess it's not fake and in the letter she tells herself that she is to watch over a boy and that she has to save him from a terrible fate and so this is sort of like a contemporary with like some sci-fi elements story and it just the art for it is so beautiful and I hear the story is just absolutely wonderful so I cannot wait to dive into this. And then I'm sorry to say that my comic call in this video is pretty lame. I just got just got one uh, but it's a very exciting one and it is Runaways by Rainbow Rowell and Chris Anka. I've just missed reading both comics and Rainbow Rowell so I'm really excited for this and I'm hoping that in the future I'll have some more exciting like comics in my videos like not just one sad <laughs> comic in an entire video but this is sort of like my first jump back into the world of comics and I'm so excited to dive into these if you have any recommendations please let me know in the comments down below I'd love to pick them up I tend to like I love magical girl stories I'm actually on the hunt for like some good idol stories if you have any of those let me know but yeah I love a good magical girl story I love a slice of life I just love cute things so that's me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, you can click the bell icon and that will send you a notification anytime I upload. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!